Hello everyone, it's me, I still my name again, and I'm back for another Power Rangers review for you guys today. And today we're going to be reviewing from Power Rangers Beast Morphers, Yellow Ranger, from Hasbro. So yeah, this is the very first Power Ranger figure I'm going to be reviewing from Hasbro, not Bandai. Bandai had the figures before, but now Hasbro has the license of the Power Ranger figures. So let's take a look at the packaging. Here is the Beast Morphers packaging. You can see the Yellow Ranger here. On the side, the Beast Morphers logo, the warning label, the pitch of uh, the figure in the window display, the weapons, the Ranger key, the Power Rangers Beast Morphers logo, with the Power Rangers logo, Hasbro symbol over here because Hasbro is doing the figures. Turn it to the side, you see a picture of the figure, um, a picture with the figure with the key, the Morpher with the key, and the Red Ranger, Blue Ranger, then in Blaze and Tronic down here. So yeah, that's it for the packaging. Now we're going to open up the figure and see how cool this figure is. Okay guys, I'm back. And here's the Beast Morphers Yellow Ranger out. And before we get to the actual figures, let's look at her accessories. So here's her saber. You can see like really nice paint. It's painted as the nice blue and silver. Really nice detail. And yeah, it's like really painted. So it's a really nice figure, fully detailed and fully painted. Here's the plaster, fully painted, fully detailed. And yeah, just look at it, really cool. Hasbro never painted, I mean Bandai never painted their weapons, but Hasbro's doing a good job. And here's the key. The key works in the morpher, but I'm going to show you later. It could be really also used another way. So yeah. So here's the figure. Here's Zoe, that's her human name when she's not the yellow ranger uh articulation on the yellow ranger is head all the way around head to look down and up arms can bend arms can bend go all the way around go to the side like that the arms can rotate the way it could go that far straight because of the scar, the scar still hinders it. But the knees bend and go all the way back that far. Now there's like a cut on the skirt. So now the female figures could go like this all the way out. The legs can rotate. And yeah, that's it, the articulation of the figure. A wild articulation on this figure. I'm really happy with the articulation. Uh, detail paint is really well done also. You can see the nice yellow helmet. The nice yellow spent, um, sweater. You can see the nice silver, the nice yellow. The morpher is really well painted and detailed. Uh, the shoes are nice. Take a look at the back. Fully painted silver. Nice yellow up top right here. And yeah, just a really nice Yellow Ranger figure. Really well done, Hasbro. And now I'm going to show you the key. The key can be also as a weapon. You just clip it on the arm like here. And there's a wound here. Like a wound. See? You can clip it as a weapon. So you don't feel like buying the Morpher. And you want to do something with the keys. You can use them as a weapon. Against your villains. So that's cool. But I recommend you be careful with the morpher, how you put it in. Because the morpher could damage the paint a little. And it gets stuck in there sometimes. But other than that, it's a cool accessory. Now I'm going to show you how she looks with her weapons during the size comparison. Okay? Okay guys, I'm back. And you can see the young Ranger, she's holding her weapons. And for the size comparison, you can see... The Civil War movie cap and the Marvel Legends way, as well as the basic Batman figure from Batman v Superman. So she's in good scale with them. They're six inches, so that's good scale. But she's a lot bigger than the Ninja Steel figure and the Mega Force four inch Blue Ranger. So those figures were five inch, four inch. Has was doing six inch, so she won't be in scale with your very nice stuff. And she's a lot bigger than your 2012 Leonardo, as well as your Kamala Dragon. So she's a lot bigger than Bandai's figures, but she can go yeah, with um, Mattel's basic Justice League line, as well as Hasbro's Marvel Legends line, so that's good. 
So over, uh, we have my final thoughts on the Power Rangers Beast Morphers The Young Ranger figure from Hasbro. I think it's a really nice figure. It's a new figure. For, it's a new. It has good detail, good paint, good articulation, and a nice new brush of breath air for Power Rangers figures. So if you're a newcomer coming into the Power Rangers franchise, I highly recommend it. If you're a fan of Hasbro, I highly recommend it. If you're a fan of Beast Morphers as well as Ghostbusters, I highly recommend it. And yeah, it's a really nice figure. Check Amazon, eBay, Walmart, Target, and yeah, I highly recommend this figure. It's a really nice figure for kids and collectors. So yeah, I highly recommend this figure. So yeah, that's it for this review, guys. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. I have plenty more Ponder reviews on the way, as well as other reviews on the way. And yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.